Okay, friends, we are ready to start a brand new unit for listening and learning. And this unit is called Fighting for a Cause. It's really exciting because we get to learn a little bit about American history and the importance that uh, people can make um, for our country and how it has made um, some really great changes and hopefully inspire you to keep making good changes. Um, and as we read, you're going to learn about several different people in our country's history and the impact that they have had. So we'll start with lesson one, and today is the lesson is called People Who Fought for a Cause. Throughout history, people have had to stand up and demand that they be treated fairly. They have fought for equal rights for themselves and for others. You have to be very brave to stand up for what you believe in. Over the next couple of weeks, you will find out about several people who took a stand against inequality and demanded certain rights. You will discover that most of these people lived a long time ago, but what they achieved affects us today. They made the world a much fairer place. They fought for equal rights for everyone. One of the types or categories of rights people have is called civil rights. Civil rights are those rights the government gives to people. Civil rights in the United States includes freedom of speech, the right to vote, and protection from discrimination. Boys and girls, discrimination is when someone is treated unfairly because of things like religion or the color of their skin. Civil rights also include the right to be treated equally under the law. Different countries have different ideas about civil rights, but the people you hear about in this domain all lived in the United States, so you will learn about civil rights and other rights people have in this country. Many of the people in the stories that follow had to fight for some of the rights we now take for granted. However, these people did not fight with violence. They fought with words and with peaceful actions. As a result, they changed the world for the better. For a long time, people weren't protected by any rights at all. For hundreds, even thousands of years, people were at the mercy of those in charge. Monarchs, such as kings, military leaders, or tribal leaders governed with an iron fist. If someone rules with an iron fist, do you think they're kind and gentle or that they're very, very strong and strict? Yeah, they were definitely strong and strict. Over time, people began to demand some rights. They wanted to select their leaders. They wanted the vote. They wanted to own property and they wanted the right to practice their religion the way they wanted to. Eventually, monarchs changed their ways or they were replaced by elected governments. Gradually, governments started giving people civil rights, which meant that people would be treated more fairly. The US government has made this promise to treat people more fairly. Sadly, when governments do not guarantee rights, people face great difficulties. Often, the most basic human needs such as enough food to eat, a place to live, and good education and job are denied, we should never forget how lucky we are to live in a country that cares about people and their rights. Even in the United States, however, the government and some more powerful groups of people have not always treated everyone fairly and equally, and they kept certain groups of people from having the same rights. Some very brave people have fought to change this. For a long time, in many parts of the world, women did not have the right to vote. Even in the United States, it wasn't until the 1920s that all women were granted or given the right to vote. This change in the law happened after women protested, marched, or campaigned for this right. So boys and girls, protest means to show you're upset with something. Um, to campaign means to take part in activities that are intended to change people's minds, or convince them of something. Until the mid-1860s, in parts of the United States, many African Americans were slaves. Even after slavery was abolished or ended in some states, African Americans did not have the same legal rights as white people and were not treated equally. In the South, for example, African Americans were not allowed to attend certain schools or eat at certain restaurants. Barriers were also placed in their way when African Americans tried to vote. 
In this domain, you will learn about two people who helped to defeat or end this inequality. With their supporters, they marched, campaigned, and demanded equal rights under the law until finally, in 1964, President Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act. This act removed unfair laws by prohibiting or ending discrimination. The following year, the Voting Rights Act removed all voting barriers for African Americans. This meant that African Americans would be allowed to vote just like all Americans without facing discrimination. Throughout the history of this country, there have been certain people dedicated to making sure that all citizens have the civil rights they deserve. Thomas Jefferson, one of the founding fathers, wrote the words, all men are created equal. He wrote those words a very long time ago in a document called the Declaration of Independence. This document was a letter of protest against the unfair treatment of the colonists by the British. The colonists fought for their rights and freedoms and founded a new nation, the United States of America. In this domain, you will find out about seven individuals who, like Thomas Jefferson and the other founding fathers, stood up for what they believed in. Here's a quick introduction and summary of the achievement for each one is known. Susan B. Anthony thought that women should have the same educational and employment opportunities as men. Susan believed that women should be allowed to vote. She dedicated her whole life to making the world a fairer place for women. Eleanor Roosevelt worked to improve the quality of life for many groups of people, but especially for children, women, Native Americans, and African Americans. She was concerned about the fact that girls did not have the same educational opportunities as boys, and that far too many African Americans lived in poverty. She traveled all over the United States and talked to the poor and needy. She encouraged her husband, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, to make changes that would reduce poverty and help everyone live a better life. Mary McLeod Bethane worked to create educational opportunities for African American girls during the time when there were separated schools for children of different skin color. She started a school in Florida that later became a college. Some people in her community did not like what she was doing and tried to stop her. They bullied her, but she would not give up. Eventually, Mary became so successful that several U.S. presidents sought her advice on how to make the country a fairer place for all. Jackie Robinson was bright, well-educated, and a terrific athlete. He became the first African-American to play Major League Baseball. When Jackie first began playing Major League Baseball, some of his fellow team members and fans treated him badly. Jackie Robinson did not give up. Because of his courage and talent, he changed people's attitudes or their views about things. On a cold December evening many years ago, an African-American woman named Rosa Parks sat on a crowded bus. When the bus driver asked her to give up her seat to a white man who did not have a seat, she refused. She found the courage to say, no. After Rosa was arrested, people came together and decided that they wouldn't ride the Miss Montgomery City buses until everyone had the same rights as white people. This was the beginning of the civil rights movement that challenged unfair laws in the South. Martin Luther King Jr. is perhaps the most famous member of the civil rights movement. He believed in bringing about change through nonviolence. In 1965, nearly one half of African Americans lived in poverty and many experienced discrimination every day. Because of Martin's leadership, the civil rights movement forced change and helped to create opportunities for many people who had experienced discrimination. It became against the law to discriminate against someone because of race, color, religion, or the country in which they were born. Cesar Chavez was first 
knew firsthand about how hard it was to be a farm worker who had to travel from farm to farm. He knew that farm workers who did this type of work earned very little money for the hard work that they did. In 1962, Caesar and his friend organized thousands of farm workers into a group called a union. Because so many people came together as part of this union and demanded change, Caesar found a way to improve the lives of all farm workers. The people you will learn about had courage. Sometimes they were bullied or threatened, but this did not stop them from doing what they knew was right. As you hear these stories, think about how different life was those years ago when people set out to make the world a better place. Okay, friends, so that was just kind of an introduction to all the people we'll be meeting over the next couple of weeks. Um, what I would like you to do is log into Seesaw and complete the activity there that goes along with today's read aloud. All right, friends, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.